Sammy. How's it going, class of 2023? Look at us. We're graduating. Can you believe it's already been four years? I know it's cliche, but doesn't it feel like we were just freshmen yesterday? The days when we used to run to class so we weren't late and played basketball during lunchtime? That definitely was not the case this year. We are now the big bad seniors who just finished ruling the campus and just had our last F, F dub pep assembly. And man, let me just say, what a way to finish the year. It was truly an amazing, amazing pep assembly. All the great performances, the energy, and the theme. And what about that cars theme? Seeing the gym all decorated made me realize how much I really loved that movie. For those who have never seen the movie Cars or don't remember it, the plot is about a cocky hotshot race car named Lightning McQueen who wants to win this big race and become famous. On the way to the race, he gets lost in a little town called Radiator Springs. While in the town, he learns from the town's residents that there are more important things in life than just winning. He learns to slow down, appreciate the differences in others, and about friendship. The town and the car's people changed him into a different person or a different car. Then it hit me. My, great, my graduation speech had been written for me all along and the pieces came together. We are all McQueens. McQueen was a little lost and thought he knew what he wanted in life. He then finds this special place with these special cars. Now take a moment and think back and remember, how are you? your freshman year before finding Flowing Wells. For me, I was reserved. I would even say a little lost. My guess is we all felt a little bit like this way when we started our freshman year. Even though we thought we had it all figured out and under control, we didn't. There was a time when I wanted to move schools because I didn't know anyone at Flowing Wells besides my older brother, Louie, a couple of his senior buddies, and Mr. Rene Fernandez. Thank you, Mr. Fernandez, for all your help. That all changed after a few days of attending my third period world history class and getting to know my teacher, Mr. Mann. <laughs> I knew then, Flowing Wells was a good place to be. Mr. Mann always wore a smile, no matter how bad of a day it was. And his enthusiasm as a teacher made it exciting to learn. His class set the stage for a great freshman year. I earned straight A's my first semester of high school, had an amazing soccer season, and had just earned a spot on the Flowing Wells varsity baseball team. Life was good until it wasn't. My entire sophomore year, I learned remotely from home and my club baseball teams had to cancel our season due to certain circumstances, but we all know what I mean. Initially, I thought how terrible it was, and all I wanted was to go back to in-person schooling and start playing club baseball again. But after some time, I realized that maybe I was focusing too much on the negative and had failed to see the positive. I become closer with people in my life whom I care about and always support me my family. Thank you, mom, dad, my two brothers, Louie, Tommy, my grandparents, and my tío. Living in quarantine gave me the opportunity to get stronger physically, mentally. And I hadn't become sick for almost two years due to wearing a piece of cloth over my face. Things weren't all that bad. Slowing down like McQueen turned out to be a great thing. Like in the movie, we all have teachers and others who have been our pit crew, giving us new tires and refueling us along the way. I remember the first day of my junior year after a long break. I was honestly feeling a little nervous, kind of like my first day of my freshman year. Just as I began to feel the anxiety, all, it all disappeared when I met my culinary teacher. Some of you know her as Miss Embacher, but I will always remember her as chef. The class itself, <laughs> the class itself was so much fun 
learning to cook different meals, and of course, eating what we cooked. But more importantly, having Chef as the teacher made it easier for me to get out of bed in the morning and go to school. I sure miss that class. Then, our senior year came, and I have to say, this is, year, this is a year that was in for the books. Wouldn't you guys agree our senior year was phenomenal, class of 2023? <laughs> for me, I was fortunate to have some people in my pit crew who made my senior year extra special. I had the opportunity to be an aide for Mr. Sharp. I'm so glad I was. In a short time, this man helped me have a more positive outlook on life. I have great respect for him and value the wisdom he has shared with me. Thank you, Sharf. <laughs> this year in particular, my soccer team had become a second family to me. Besides my summer baseball team, I never felt so close with teammates like I did this year. There was no love. There was no hate, but only love within the team. I always knew that my teammates and my coach, Jose Mada, had my back. Our team almost got into a couple of brawls because no one messes with our team. We are family and always will be. Gracias por todo, Amada. Before long, the baseball season came, and I have to say, we had a pretty successful year. As an underdog, we surprised a lot of opponents. A big shout out to Coach Alberto Urquides. What he has done for the baseball program this year is amazing. <clears throat> Having these role models as my Flying Wells family is something I will cherish. Without them and the rest of my f -Dub family and my pit crew, my time here would have not have been as special. Like McQueen, our time here at Flying Wells has changed us. We are now all different people with a different and better outlook. I mean, when I first met a few of my baseball friends, I would have never imagined us dancing in front of the whole school during a pep assembly. Come on, you all know our dance was the best part of the pep assembly. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. You wanna see us dance again. Hit it. So baby, come here, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So, how was it? <laughs> After all this, I must say, Flowing Wells is our Radiator Springs. It has taught us that through failure, we will succeed. Succeeding isn't always about winning or being right. 
It's about the friendships and relationships you make along the way. Flowing Wells made us all into better people today. We are all headed separate ways, and let me leave you with one piece of advice. When you wake up in the morning, instead of saying, ugh, oh, I have to go to school, or ugh, oh, I have to go to work, change it to, I get to go to school, I get to go to work. Change one word, and watch how the world in front of you changes. Ka-chow! Wow, that was, that was amazing. That surprised me. <laughs> All right, good evening, family, friends, and the class of 2023. Yeah. All right, my name is Lex Arcantar. I am your student body president. <laughs> Sitting behind me on the platform for tonight's ceremony are Flowing Wells Board of Education, Ms. Christine Hammer, governing board president. Mr. James Love, Governing Board Clerk. Mrs. Brianna Hamilton, Governing Board Member. Mr. Tom Jacobs, Governing Board Member. Mr. Chris Isabel, Altar Valley Governing Board Member. District Administration, Dr. Kevin Stolzfus, Superintendent. Dr. Kimberly Parkinson, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Audrey Reff, Assistant Superintendent. Ms. Stacy Trueblood, Chief Financial Officer. And for your high school administration, Mr. Jim Burningkant, our principal. Ms. Allison Embacher, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Teresa Gonzalez, Assistant Principal. Mr. Frank Thomas, Assistant Principal. And sitting to your left are the Flowing Wells School District principals and directors. Mr. Tony Young, Director of Maintenance. Mr. Luis Greer, Director of Transportation. Mrs. Patricia Gutierrez, Director of Staff Development. Mrs. Jacqueline Camacho, Director of Exceptional Student Services. Dr. Sue Shin, Director of Preschool. Dr. Christy Dale, Principal of Centennial Elementary. Dr. Tamara McAllister, Principal of Douglas Elementary. Mrs. Tabitha Fincham, Principal of Hendricks Elementary. Mr. Chris Nogami, Principal of Homer Davis Elementary. Mr. Henry Linker, Principal of Hendricks, oh, wait, my apologies, Principal of Richardson Elementary. Mr. Chad Miller, Principal of Flowing Wells Junior High. And Dr. Rebecca Hurst, Principal of Sentinel Peak High School. Well, thank you, Lexi. Well, good evening, class of 2023. And good evening, Flowing Wells community. Class, tonight is a celebration of you, but also of the entire community that has supported you throughout your school career. This incredible Flowing Wells community has attended your performances, cheered at your sporting events, voted to pass bonds and overrides to improve your schools, such as this beautiful new stadium that was passed by our voters, and supported your success in countless ways. Flowing Wells High School graduation truly is a community celebration. Graduation feels like the end of something, like the end of 13 years of school, the end of tardy sweeps, and sadly, the end of Mr. Brunekant's amazing acting on the morning announcements. I know, you will miss it, trust me. But graduates, here's the thing. Tonight actually marks a beginning. Tonight is our way of saying to you, nice work so far. We think that you are ready to take the next steps without us. Now get out there and make the world a better place. In fact, we need you to make the world a better place. Now, I know this sounds intimidating when you're 18 years old, but that's why I am honored to introduce two Flowing Wells alumni to you who are doing just that. They took the next steps. They are doing amazing work, 
and they are making the world better. Based on their impressive and ongoing body of work, these individuals now are being inducted into the Flowing Wells Alumni Hall of Fame. And it's my pleasure to be able to introduce them to you tonight. And so please welcome and join me in congratulating Mr. Joseph Bertoldo, Flowing Wells High School Class of 1968. Well, Mr. Bertoldo, as you're walking to the stage, I'm gonna say some uh, remarks about you and just share with our class and our audience a little bit about your fantastic accomplishments. Joseph Bertoldo attended Flowing Wells High School, for, uh, attended Flowing Wells schools from second grade through high school. He was a student athlete who was passionate, particularly about wrestling and football. After graduating from Flowing Wells High School in 1968, he attended the University of Arizona, go Wildcats, graduating first that's right, a little shout out for the U of A, graduating first with a bachelor's degree in business administration and then earning his Juris Doctor degree from the University of Arizona College of Law in 1976. Mr. Bertoldo began his law career with the city of Flagstaff, Arizona, rising through the ranks until he was appointed city attorney in 1981. He served in that capacity until 2003 when he became the city attorney for Scottsdale, Arizona. He retired from the public sector in 2005 and for the next 15 years worked as an attorney in private practice. In January of 2020, Mr. Bertoldo retired from the practice of law to pursue other interests, particularly, I hear, as of late, golfing. During his impressive career, Mr. Bertoldo argued cases in trial courts at the Arizona Courts of Appeal and at the Arizona Supreme Court. His writing was selected for a national publication. He served as an adjunct professor for Northern Arizona University and Yavapai Community College, and he volunteered on the board of directors for the American Cancer Society in Flagstaff and for an advocacy group for victims and witnesses of crimes. Please join me in recognizing and congratulating Mr. Joseph Bertoldo. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Fosa, for that brief introduction. I'm glad to say that uh, I stand before you tonight uh, happy to say that uh, my story still continues. First, let me congratulate you on receiving this milestone in your life. Like thousands who have gone before you, tonight you become graduates and alumni of Flowing Wells High School. This is your accomplishment we celebrate tonight. Tomorrow, however, is another day. It's the start of a new page, a new chapter in your life. And there are many different ways you can go from here, many different roads to success. And depending on your goals, in some, in some cases, those roads will be long and they'll be hard. One thing I can tell you that is common to all those roads to success is they are always under construction. They all come with stops and starts, twists and turns, delays, detours, and distractions. If you can maintain a singular focus on your destination and have the patience and determination to stay the course, you can and will achieve success in your life. But there are no shortcuts, no fast lanes, or expressways to success. Success is a process as well as a destination. You usually have to achieve one level before you can advance to the next. It can be a long, slow climb. If it were a race, it'd be a marathon and not a sprint. But it's not a race, it's a journey. Go at your own pace. Take time to smell the flowers. Make time to spend with your friends and family. But most important of all, be patient and enjoy the journey. Thank you. Congratulations again, Mr. Bertoldo. And now please join me in, in welcoming our second alumni Hall of Fame inductee and in congratulating Ms. Stacy Trueblood, proud graduate of the class of 1977. 
Now let me share a little bit about Ms. Trueblood with you. So after high school, Ms. Trueblood worked at Casa de los Niños and then attended college at the University of Arizona, also a wildcat, earning a bachelor's degree in accounting in 1992. In 1993, she received her credential as a certified public accountant. Those of us who work with Ms. Trueblood know that she is brilliant, but here is proof. She earned the highest score in the state of Arizona on the certified public accountant exam in 1993 and was among the top 10 scores in the entire nation. Ms. Trueblood worked, yes, round of applause for that. Ms. Trueblood worked in the corporate offices of several large companies and also served as a professor at Pima Community College. She returned to Flowing Wells in 2005, accepting a position in our business office. She soon was promoted to the Director of Business and Finance and since 2015 has served as the district's Chief Financial Officer. In this role, she oversees the district's $45 million budget. She has secured millions of dollars in grant funding and has transformed operations through technological upgrades. She has an incredible 11-year streak of earning the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting. Ms. Trueblood also bleeds blue and gold. Her husband, Everett, is a Flowing Wells grad as well. I think he's seated over there in the stands. They met in high school in 1975. He's a proud grad of 1976. Ms. Trueblood's children also graduated from Flowing Wells, and she even has a grandchild who attends elementary school in the district. She can be seen pacing the sidelines at Flowing Wells home football games on Friday nights. Congratulations, Mrs. Trueblood. Thank you, Dr. Stolzfus, for that wonderful introduction. And um, first, I'd like to thank Dr. Renee Ground, Dr. David Baker, and the Hall of Fame Committee for this uh, honor. I'm very moved by it. I, re I really do appreciate it. But I didn't get here alone. So I do, if you would indulge me for a minute, let me um, thank some very special people in my life. Uh, first of all, my mother is here. Um, my father is uh, watching online in Michigan. Hi, Dad. Um, they were my support and uh, cheerleaders through uh, my entire life. Thank you to my husband, Everett, my daughters, Alyssa and Amanda, and my grandchildren. Um, I treasure my friends. I have three best friends that I met in fifth and sixth grade here at Flowing Wells. We are still friends today, some 50 years later. My friend Julie is here. My friend Debbie is watching from Vermont. And my friend Janet is in my heart always. So obviously, thank you. <laughs> obviously, um, things were different here 40 years ago. Um, yikes, 40 years. That seems like a long time. Um, and you're right, it goes by fast. So. Uh, but what I was thinking about is things are different, but really the important things are really the same. Uh, this community of Flowing Wells, this school district has been the center of this community from when I was in this, a student at this school until now. You guys are the center of this community and you are the stars. Um, I was listening to uh, Sammy give his speech and he was talking about um, not so much what he learned, but the effect that his teachers had on him. Kept him in school, kept him wanting to go to Flowing Wells. That's what I had in my speech, really. I don't remember what I learned. I don't remember the assignments that I did. I just remember how the teachers made me feel. They made me feel supported, educated, um, confident, and um, my success I knew was their success. Uh, the personal connections and the relationships make a difference then to me, and I believe from listening to you, they make a difference to you. That's what makes Flowing Wells special, are those connections. So class of 2023, remember the connections you made during your time here. Come back, say hello to that special teacher or staff member. We would love to hear how you're doing and share in your achievements. Nurture your relationships. Stay in touch with your friends and your classmates. When you have the opportunity, give back to your community. The connections in those friendships, 
that you made here will stay with you long after you walk off this field. So congratulations, the class of 2023. Thank you for allowing me to share this special night with you, and I wish you only the best in the future. Congratulations again, Ms. Trueblood and Mr. Bertoldo. And uh, graduates, please join me in welcoming Mrs. Christine Hammer, Governing Board President. Congratulations, class of 2023. As president of the Flowing Wells School Board, and behalf, on behalf of all the members of the school board, I would like to tell you, take a moment to tell you how proud we are of your accomplishments and of seeing you on this football field here tonight. In addition to being a school board member, I am also lucky enough to be a mother to five children, one of whom is graduating alongside you tonight. <laughs> As a parent, one of the most pivotal moments in our lives is when we meet our children for the first time. We have been granted access to one of the most enjoyable and difficult jobs that any of us will ever undertake. We get to watch you grow and learn about your personalities and what makes you you. Sometimes you work hard to make us lose our minds, like when you blame the cat for riding on the carpet with a marker, or when you pack lunches to take to school and don't eat them, but don't throw them out and throw them into your backpack. Going through your backpack or your room weeks later to find science experiments of liquefying fruit or moldy sandwiches is as gross as it sounds. Or, 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 being late to a graduation practice, but not going to the community service today and threatening your privilege to walk across the stage. This mom's heart almost fell out of my chest when I got the call this morning, but you resolved this potential issue and are here tonight, much to my relief. But yet, we still continue on as your parents because we know that what we are doing are preparing you for your future as you learn the needed tasks to grow into an adult. It leads us to this night just another milestone that we get to celebrate with you. This night. This night is what you've all been working towards since you stepped foot onto your first school campus in kindergarten. Every teacher, every lesson, every school you, that you have attended has led you to this point. You have met numerous people during your school years and they've all shaped you to become who you are today. It seems crazy that this celebration is the end of this journey. Tomorrow. You will wake up and be graduates of Flowing Wells and no longer students of these hallowed halls. It seems surreal and yet so exciting. However, as many have said, this is not the end of your journey. It's merely a stopping point to celebrate your sec success and then a jumping off point to the next part of your lives. Some of you are going into college, some into the military or apprenticeships, and some are going into jobs and some of you maybe don't know what the future brings. What we do know is that whatever you decide to do will be amazing. How do I know this? It is because you came to an amazing school and they taught you amazing things and helped you along the way with their amazing advice. You cannot help but to do things that are amazing. You made it through some very difficult years and you are here tonight because you are amazing. You are what we have all been working towards raising you to be the best people you can be on whatever path your journey leads you on. You can do it because you are here on this night and we are celebrating your milestone with lots of joy. We are excited to see where you go and what you do in the future, so keep in touch with Flowing Wells. Your celebrations are our celebrations because like everything else here at Flowing Wells, we are a family and we want to celebrate with you. Congratulations again, class of 2023. We wish you well and we celebrate you and the amazing people that you are and that you are going to become. Good evening, friends, family, and staff. But most importantly, good evening to the class of 2023. To call our class special is an understatement. I mean, Bruno can't even say it himself. This is his favorite class of all time. But what makes us seniors so special? I wrestle with this question a lot because we just have so many things that make us unique. It's not just because we win every single spirit yell during the pep assemblies, 
or the fact that we have earned the largest amount of scholarship money in the history of Flowing Wells. While both of those are amazing accomplishments, what really makes this class so special is the passion that we bring no matter the occasion. We always do everything big. I noticed this passionate energy when we had our senior sunset at the beginning of the year. A senior sunset was something that had never been done at Flowing Wells, so naturally, none of us knew what to expect going into it. But what was supposed to just be a viewing of the sunset on the football field turned into something so much more. Friends shared food that they have cooked with each other. People wrote letters that, to their future selves. And there was even a pickup soccer game where we used our sho shoes as the goalposts. No one knew what that night was going to look like, but we still showed up and made it epic. That positive energy and mindset is what makes our class so special and sets us apart from any other graduating class. Our class takes advantage of every opportunity and we try to make the most out of it. The class of 2023 is truly unique and I know that we will carry on this passion as we take the next steps in our lives. We may not know what the future holds, but we know if we try our hardest at everything we attempt, our results will indeed be epic because Flowing Wells is awesome sauce. I'm your senior class president, Richard Laguerra, and I officially welcome you to the graduation ceremony of 2023. Beauty and the Beast was, hands down, my favorite movie growing up. So much so that I would parade around my backyard all dressed up, singing the same song you just heard, pretending to be Belle. To this day, I'm sure there are plenty of people who have called me a funny girl. If I'm being honest, there are a lot of things that make me unconventional. Like the fact that Belle was my favorite character growing up, not because she was a princess or wore a pretty dress, but because she was intelligent loved books, and was often off in her own world. Or the fact that I am a self-proclaimed nerd. I mean, I've known that I've wanted to study genetics since I was 10 years old. In fact, this is such an integral part of my personality that the first thing that came to mind when I was asked to tell a story about myself was the Strawberry DNA Science Fair project that I did in elementary school. I'll share it with all of you, too. I'm sure it sounds riveting. <laughs> I was in the CATS program in fourth grade, which presented me with the unique opportunity to participate in a science fair project. I was not entirely sure what my topic would be, but I eventually happened upon an experiment involving DNA extraction from fruit. This seemed fascinating, so I decided to design a project about which type of detergent would be the most effective in the process of extracting DNA from strawberries. See, I told you, this would be riveting. Anyways, that fateful project with strawberry DNA sparked a passion for genetics that I have carried with me ever since. This love was further amplified when I got sick. No, I don't mean with a cold. 
I have a shocking amount of stories of throwing up in embarrassing places, which I will spare you all the details of. Those unfortunate tales led to a diagnosis of celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disease where a destructive reaction in my small intestine is triggered whenever I eat gluten. That, however, was just the beginning. A few months later, I began experiencing splitting migraines, horrible abdominal pain, endless fatigue, and a whole host of other less predictable symptoms. This hodgepodge of afflictions meant that I spent the end of last school year and the summer before my senior year doing blood tests, MRIs, HIDA scans, and even a colonoscopy and endoscopy. My parents, being the loving and determined people that they are, rearranged their own schedules to help me find answers and spent many hours reassuring me that I would not feel this helpless forever. And even though I had trouble seeing it in the moment, they were right. While I still experience these symptoms to some degree, everything has gotten less scary over time. I've learned to adapt. And while I still have feelings of bitterness about having an autoimmune disease, receiving that diagnosis allowed me to realize what I want to do with all of this genetics passion I've built up over the years. I want to study autoimmune diseases so that I can help people like me, who so often feel helpless because it seems their own bodies have failed them. My passions, my interests, and even my disease have often made me feel isolated from my peers. But I know that while I have often felt odd or a bit different, I also know that I am not alone in this feeling. In fact, I would love for you all to take a moment, turn to someone nearby, maybe give them a hug, and tell them, I see you, and it's going to be OK. I'm sure that each person you turn to just now has a different story, because while we may be united by our struggles and the feelings we have all shared at some point, each person in this audience is also very unique. Each of us has a different background, different experiences, different relationships, and different values. On this campus alone, I have had the chance to build relationships with a diverse group of wonderful people, Isabella, Tor, Avalon, and Mike, to name just a few. What is truly remarkable about these people I have gotten to know here is how, in spite of, or maybe because of, our differences, these people have banded together to support me, showing me immense kindness in the moments I least expected it. These people have made me feel like I matter, like I belong, even when the reality of who I am seemed hard to bear and all I wanted to do was hide. In the moments where my health was so bad that I was not able to drive myself to school, or the time when I had to hide snacks in my bra during Anastasia performances in case my blood sugar dropped. That's right, I was dressed up in a black gown with makeup on that made me look like I was 80 years old, but what I was most concerned about was how many packets of fruit snacks I could stuff in my costume. <laughs> Through all of the hardships of the past few years, these little acts of kindness in some of my darkest moments have opened my eyes to the goodness around me and how each person's differences are capable of evoking empathy and love to those around them. This is something that is truly special about our school, because I know that this level of acceptance and community does not exist everywhere. So before our go we go our separate ways, I want you to make sure to take a moment to thank all of the people in your life who have made you feel like you matter. And as wonderful as this place is, the time has come to say goodbye. In doing so, it is imperative that we do not lose ourselves, because high school does not define us. The people we are now are not the people we will be forever. And in order to go on to be truly great, we need to embrace this change. Because while it may be scary, it will also bring us freedom. Whatever the world throws our way, I know that we can be successful, simply because of who we are. If there's one thing I've learned from my time at Flowing Wells, from the strength I have gained through navigating my health challenges, from the wonderful, diverse people I've grown to know here, it is this. Each and every one of us has value simply because of being who we are. There is nothing we need to criticize or change about ourselves, because we are enough for each other, ourselves, and the world exactly as we are. In fact, we are more than enough. So, as we move away from high school and from this chapter of our lives, I'm not going to tell you to go out and change the world. I don't have to. I know you will. It is up to you to decide whether or not this change will be for the better because we are all far more powerful and brave than we may realize. The strength to be found in cherishing our individuality is immense. We are changing the world just by being in it. Instead, 
I invite you all to go out and cherish each other. Enjoy this phase of life rather than rushing on to the things that lie ahead. Because I can guarantee you, it is absolutely worth it to learn the stories of at least a few other people here before we go our separate ways. Embrace your nerdiness, because deep down, each one of us is a nerd about something, whether it be genetics, theater, sports, animals, art, you name it, and share it with the world, because passion is something to be celebrated, not hidden away. It is my goal moving forward to be unapologetically myself, and I hope you all will join me in this endeavor. So, as we part ways, I want you all to stand up, And repeat after me with as much enthusiasm and pride as you can muster, I am a nerd. I am a nerd. <laughs> Thank you. Hold up, I gotta get it, to, I gotta get a picture. All right, on the count of three, everyone yell F-dub, and I mean everyone, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> that is awesome, you guys look great. Okay, now that that's out of the way, good evening, class of 2023. Think about the answer to this question. Who is your movie hero? Why is this person your hero? Is it because they have superpowers? Is it because they saved the world? Or are they your hero because they saved just one person? And that one person is their world. My movie hero is a hero in my favorite movie of all time, Guardians of the Galaxy. And needs no introduction. <laughs> Anyways. So, Peter Quill, the archetypal movie hero, starts off his journey flawed and with a lot of room to grow. By the end of the movie, ends up incredibly heroic on the inside and is an absolute hunk on the outside. And ultimately, he saves his family. The typical Hollywood movie has a romantic movie plotline. Pretty, pretty straightforward, you know. Boy meets girl, boy falls in love with girl, boy and girl run away and live happily ever after. Right, the classic trope. Guardians strays far from the normal plot line to an almost absurd level. Boy grows up in Missouri, boy gets abducted by aliens, boy steals one of the most powerful artifacts in the universe, boy meets girl, boy saves her from dying in space, okay, boy is part god, boy saves the planet from being blown up with a dance up. Okay, okay, it's a little ridiculous, right? Anyways, but the underlying theme of the movie is family, specifically about our relationships with our parents and siblings who shape who we are and create the foundation for relationships with people outside the family. If those family bonds are healthy, we're more apt to, dem to demonstrate genuine love, loyalty, and selflessness as a result. This is why Guardians is so special to me. Yeah, it has all the excitement of an MCU movie, but it takes an assortment of random aliens and creates a loving family out of it. Peter ended up choosing his family. Now I use Guardians of the Galaxy as a reference point with a man who is just scrappy enough to save the universe and find his family on the way. Just like we found our family in our tiny universe, Flying Walls. But real life is not a movie. So think about this question. Who is your real life hero? Is it a parent? a friend, a teacher, or a sibling. When I was at all my heroes had one thing in common. I had a really cool Lego version of them. No, 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 no. They were scrappy and cared about their family. My real life heroes are my family, my mother, my sister, my brother, and a man I never knew, my father. Just a few months before I turned three, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. He fought it for just a few months before I finally beat him. And as you can imagine, my entire family dynamic changed. See, he was the sole income provider for the family, 
with my mom staying at home taking care of her three children. Finding a job while keeping her secret was not easy, but my mom persisted until she knew she would be able to provide for her that we were ne never starving, all while mourning the death of her husband. She scraped by to get us food on the table, roof over our heads, and even air conditioning. And every summer, when the air conditioner eventually broke, she would see to it that I was fixed. My sister, who was the oldest, but only about 12 years old, made a commitment, not only to my mom, not only to her two younger brothers, but to herself. She put her own needs aside for our future. She became my second mom in many ways, making sure we were fed, clean, and went to school every day. She did this while attending school herself and even graduating a year early. She was scrappy and chose her family first, just like any hero would. I was fed and I had enough toys to keep me occupied for the day, but the truth was we lived and still do live in the poorest zip code in Tucson. We had a traumatic passing in the family and the cards were stacked against us. Now I'm telling you this, not for you to feel bad for me or pity me, but to understand that even with all the problems my family face, there are still some families who are worse off than we. I'm lucky enough to look back on my childhood today and still emphasize the we of my story. The trajectory of both my family and my own life could have been vastly different after my dad's passing, but it was our resilience that brought me here today. The 15th anniversary of my dad's passing was a few months ago, and on that day, my mom found an old home video. It was my sister's birth video, and for the first time in my entire life, I heard my father's voice. It was a weird feeling. Even though I have no recollection of his voice, when I heard it, it was familiar. The voice that's been in my head didn't have a distinct form, no specific accent, and no certain vocal patterns. But even so, even so I knew it was his. That voice who was with me on every birthday, every celebration, and he was especially with my family just a few weeks ago when my mom officially became a U.S. citizen. <laughs> years, years of living in fear finally evaporated and my dad was right there with us, cheering even louder than we were. Now, I would invite my mom to the stage to tell everyone how it felt, but she is most definitely bawling her eyes out right now in no state to speak. So, Instead, as a son of two Mexican immigrants who were scrappy enough to raise a beautiful family, one now being a full U.S. citizen, I will be their voice. Their message, and mine, is number one, no matter how tough we have it, how bad our problems are, there is always someone who doesn't have a real life hero. So appreciate the people who are your heroes. I have found that that appreciation can uplift us and help us rise to life challenges. And number two, to my Flowing Wells family, I am your biggest fan. Thank you. Now, before I go, do you want to see my dad? Say yes.
Good evening, class of 2023. Got to sport the shoes. All right, here's your trivia question. First one to raise their hand with the correct answer wins a prize. What happened on August 22nd, 2019? Is that David? Nope. I don't know. I, I can't hear the answer. I, I'm just going to tell you. That was the first time I asked you this question. Look to your left. Look to your right. On that day, there were 560 freshmen. Today, and you didn't believe me when I said one of you won't be here on this night. 560 freshmen, there are 320 of you sitting here tonight. Who is still here? Congratulations, I'm so proud of you, and yes, you are my favorite class, and no, I do not say that every year. You're my favorite class for a lot of reasons, but a lot of the reasons is because of the teachers and the counselors who are here tonight, so give them a round of applause. Another reason is because your greatness and your politeness and your courtesy and your generosity started the first day of preschool and kindergarten. And every one of your principals are here. Mr. Schmidt is um, on active duty right now. He couldn't make it, but all of your principals are here right over here. Give them a round of applause and thank them. Now bear with me, I know you wanna get up on stage. I know you want me to call your name, but this is how special you are. Give me a few minutes and listen to this. Here you go, 180 or 58 of you have earned the Arizona Stu Advanced Studies Gold Diploma. This is a majority of the senior class. 185 or 58 percent of you are state of Arizona academic scholars and 200 or excuse me 320 out of 330 of graduating seniors are sitting here tonight. At the time I prepared this speech over nine and a half million dollars in scholarship offers have been received by the class of 2023. This figure grows every day. One of you is a Quest Bride National Prep College Scholar. Two of you are Dorrance Scholars. 34 of you have earned the Arizona Seal of Biliteracy. Many of you are off to serve your country in the Marines, Army, Air Force, Army Reserve, National Guard, and Navy. And over 270 of you, 87% of you, have indicated that you are going on to more training and schooling after you leave this stadium tonight. Schools and universities, just a few of them, who have made offers to those of you sitting here tonight include Arizona State University, Carrington College, Catholic University, Cochise College, Community College, Grand Canyon University, Harvard University, Haverford College in Pennsylvania, Minnesota North College Rainy River, New Mexico State University, Northern Arizona University, Ottawa University, Pima Community College, Pima Medical Institute, Tucson Electrical Apprenticeship and Training Program, University of Arizona, Vanderbilt University, Washington University in St. Louis, Western Technical College, Westmont College in California, Wilmington College in Ohio, Amherst College, Bates College, Boston College, Bottowin College, Bryn Mawr College, Carleton College, Coe College, Colby Sawyer College, Colorado State University, Columbia University, Denison University, Rochester University, Union College, University of Alabama, Wake Forest, Wells College, Williams College, and Yale University. 
And now my voice is given out. I'm going to have to stop. Good luck. No, I'm kidding. Please stand and recognize the top 10 of the class of 2023. Number 10, Michael McGee. Number nine, Richard Laguerra. Number eight, Valeria Toscano Passos. Number seven, Maria Lopez Santos. Number five, Isabella Hurst. Number five, Nathan Esquilin. Number four, Jonathan Austin. Number three, Samuel Padilla. Your salutatorian, Daniel Morales Rosales. And your valedictorian, Lena Stolzfus. And if you hear your name, please come up on stage because you have been named by your teachers and department heads and the principal as our seniors of the year, starting with our valedictorian. Come on up, Lena Stosfus. Salutatorian, Daniel Moreno. Career and Technical Education, Senior of the Year, Mackenzie McDaniel. English, Senior of the Year, Jaden Kahn Sickler. Fine Arts, Senior of the Year, Michael McGee. Resource Senior of the Year, Kalista Abadia. JROTC Senior of the Year, Elijah Nixon. Mathematics Senior of the Year, Reese Folks. Modern Language Senior of the Year, Valeria Campas Rabago. Science Senior of the Year, Valeria Toscano Passos. Social Studies Senior of the Year, David Thompson. And the principal seniors of the year for four years of excellence demonstrating this next person, and I mentioned this before, perfect attendance since kindergarten. Never a doctor's appointment during the day, never a dentist appointment during the day, never a day sick or off during COVID, Robert Snook. And I have two more Seniors of the Year Principal Award winners, Isabella Hurst and Lena Stolzfus. In addition, here's some more accolades that you have earned. In FCCL, FCCLA fashion, one of you is an Arizona State Officer, one of you won a gold medal in fashion construction, one won a silver medal in fashion design, one won a gold medal in nationals, at nationals in fashion construction. Two of you are going to nationals to compete this summer. Auto mechanics, 11 of you earned a total of 59 auto service excellence certifications. In band, the Flowing Wells High School marching band earned an eighth place finish at the U of A band day and an excellent rating at the semi-final competition of Oboda. The wind ensemble earned an excellent at the Oboda Area Festival and several seniors were members of the AMEA Regional Honor Choir excuse me, band, but in choir. Ten of you made the Arizona South Central Regional Choir more than any other high school in Southern Arizona. One of you made the Arizona All-State Choir. Corollaires earned a superior at the NAU Jazz Magical Festival. One of you made all regional choir, and one of you made the Regional Honor Orchestra. In theater, drama seniors put on four main stage productions, including Radium Girls, Paper on Plastic, Ridiculosis by Proxy, Stephanie Hero, and Puffs. In graphic design, you earned a silver medal at regionals. One of you earned a gold and a silver medal at state championships. And one of you was a state finalist in pin design. In JROTC, Raiders finished second in the state. The rifle team finished first in the state. The rifle team finished 15th in the nation. The drill team third in the state. The color guard second in the state. This year, JROTC senior cadets earned the prestigious, only 3% of the JROTCs in the United States earned the honor unit with distinction. In athletics, teams that made state playoffs, girls golf, girls basketball, wrestling, girls soccer, boys soccer, boys volleyball, baseball, swimming, and track and field. One of you made football second team all region. One of you was a football Arizona bowl player of the, of the game. One of you made the men's basketball first team all region. One of you was selected as our Max Preps player of the year for softball. One of you made the men's basketball second team all region. One of you made the women's soccer honorable mention. In track, one of you is the state champion for discus and you are also the third place state finisher in shot put. One of you was a men's swimming top state finisher. The Lady Cabs won the Flowing Wells holiday shootout. 
One of you was a girls basketball Arizona Republic all Arizona honorable mention. One of you made the girls basketball first team and was player of the year earning 1,000 career points. Yes, that was Naveen. Two of you made the girls basketball region second team and two of you made the girls basketball Southern Arizona 4A first team. One of you made second team, one of you made third team. Wow. That is why you are the most amazing class in the history of Flowing Mills High School. Give yourselves a round of applause. And congratulations to all of you sitting on stage. It's time to go sit with your rows because you know what comes next. <laughs> Members of the school board, district administration, parents and friends, I am pleased at this time to present Flowing Wells High School's graduates of 2023 and to certify that they have completed requirements for graduation as established by the Arizona School Board of Education and by the Flowing Wells Board of Education. Mrs. Christine Hammer, Mrs. Brianna Hamilton, please help us in handing out and presenting the diplomas to the graduate. Are you ready? Are you ready to graduate? Will the graduates in row one rise and approach the stage? As you approach the stage, look how good you look on screen. That, you guys are one great looking class. Aaron Curtis. Danielle Jade Landoche. You're doing good. All right, good job. Now stand on the X. Right here. Me? Yeah, you. Let me say your name. Sahari Castro. <laughs> Yazalina Elizabeth Kota Anaya. Monica Lucero. Mackenzie McDaniel. Ethan Atfell. Jalen McLean. Jay Cox. Daniel Ross. Isabel Monterey Lucio Deo. Matthew Callen. Joseph Gilly. Joy Zhou, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Maximiliano Vicente de la Osa, Arizona Scholar, Distinguished Senior, Gold Diploma. Aviana Reina Salcido, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Holly Noel Lowry, Gold Diploma. Odette Grijalva. Rachel Faith, Arizona Scholar. Woo! Noah Cox. Woo! Kayla Barbara Elston Perez, Arizona Scholar. Gold Diploma. 
you remembered. <laughs> Caden Ash. My favorite movie. Mil Milana. Mil Mil Miana, excuse me. Miana Dene Chavez. By the way, those of you sitting here, $20 goes to the person with the best decorated cap. So you're my judges, 20 bucks. You know what? I love you guys, make it 40. Okay. Zoe Cox, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Janine V. Aceves. Zion Lindsay. <laughs> Ashley Christie. <laughs> Callista Blessing Abadia. <laughs> Annabelle Lopez, Gold Diploma. Oh, did you really? Okay. Sydney Richardson, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> By the way, Sydney, I know who you are. I didn't need a card. <laughs> Emma Michael. Brooke Iniquez, Arizona Scholar. Gold Diploma. Make it, no, no, yeah, he said make it 100. Daniel Morales Rosales, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior, salutatorian, Gold Diploma. Brennan Almore Hurst Lopez, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Distinguished Senior, Gold Diploma. Christina Lorraine Parra, Gold Diploma. You're welcome. Leonor Alejandra Garcia Yi. Emily Guzman, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. You're welcome. Wyatt Edwards. Christina Lubashu. Daniel Aguirre, Jr. Noelio, Noelia Orduño. Ethan Basinger. Jennifer Arguello. Joseph Villalobos. Noe Acosta, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Logan Adame. <laughs> Allison Nunez, Estrella, Seal of Biliteracy. Julissa Gonzalez Martinez, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Keelan Gardner, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Oliver Jaime, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Uh, 
There you go. Paul I. Guerrero. Carl Hammer time. No, just Carl Hammer. Anika Elizabeth Holiday Shaweska. Aralise Nayeli Chacon, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Mateo Manuel Fimbres. Miguel Mendez. Cosmo Zoom Kakias, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Tor Knitter, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Michael McGee, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, graduating with distinction, Gold Diploma. Turn that back on. Lena Faith Stolzfus, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior, valedictorian, gold diploma. <laughs> Isabella Hurst, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, graduating with distinction, gold diploma. Avalon Williams, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Brisa Noel Cruz, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Sabrina Maria Cortez, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Alyssa Marie Levi, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Haley Vickiana Marie Williams, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Sarah Marie Ramos, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Okay. Sydney Lomeli Capen, Arizona Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Jonathan Austin, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior. Joseph Correa, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Leah Lillenquist, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Jasmine Coe, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Jason Janoski. Caleb Bueller. Oh, wait. Caleb Bueller. Bueller, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Oh, did you see my cat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pedro Andres Preciado, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Armando Ruiz, Jr. Christian White. Carl White. 61? 61? Number 61 here, Darren Zimmerman. Number 61. Number 61. Marissa Ariana Reina. 
Tanya Paula Acosta, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Eileen Michelle Yepes Moreno. Valeria Alejandra Campas Rabago, Seal of, Bra Seal of Biliteracy. Narali Gomez. Ziomara Guadalupe Martinez Aguilar. <laughs> Angel Antonio Perez. Wait, let me see. Okay. Brenda Elizabeth Reynoso Enciso. Nathan Espinosa. Maria Fernanda Lopez Santos, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, graduating with distinction, seal of biliteracy, distinguished senior, gold diploma. Savannah Lachelle Nash, Arizona Scholar, gold diploma. Alexia Nicole Vigil, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Yes, Ariana Resendiz Salazar, Seal of Biliteracy, National Honor Society, Go Gold Diploma. <laughs> Gavin Brady Clifford. Let's go! Jacqueline Acosta Cardenas. Angelina Guadalupe Tellez. Yadel Alia Parrish. Alegria. <laughs> Miriam Ureli, Ureli Vargas Rosales. <laughs> Jaden Wright. Ethaniel Rubio Malaga. Alexa Rochelle Pace. Samantha Leilane Gonzalez Rosas. Wow, that's cool. Alana Ward. Erica Buffalo, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Oh, that's awesome. Austin Billings. Alejandro Corrales. Herman Servin. Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Marco Antonio Cardenas Jones. Angel Roberto Valenzuela. Angel Fimbrez. 
You're welcome. Christian Cortez Torres, Seal of Biliteracy. Josue Dicochea, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Samuel Tirso Padilla, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction, Seal of Biliteracy, Distinguished Senior, Gold Diploma. Diana Gamino, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Tanya Gamino. Valeria Carrillo Martinez, Seal of Biliteracy. Angel Ismael Morales. Fee Tran, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Robert Schnook, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Jasmine Alessi Sanchez, Arizona Scholar. And gold diploma, sorry. <laughs> Deanara Rodriguez, seal up by literacy, gold diploma. Francisco Jimenez, Arizona scholar, gold diploma. Sarah Elizabeth Castillo, Arizona scholar, distinguished senior, gold diploma. Welcome. Aurelius Gomez Romo. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Maria Jose Hogin, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. You're going to take a selfie? Or they're going to take a selfie? You want to be in it? Yeah. <laughs> Go. Wait, I don't know what it's supposed to Don't worry, people are waiting. <laughs> Victor Via Gomez, Victor Via Gomez, Arizona Scholar. <laughs> Valentin Melendez Mendoza, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Matthew Avidia. Nathaniel Pruitt, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Giselle Enamorado Jasmine Carasosa, Arizona Scholar. Palino Guadalupe. <laughs> Thought you lost it. Gilberto Coronado Gonzalez, Jr., Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Natalie Ray Perez, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Olivia Munoz. Esperanza Robles. Dustin Vivian Vea, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see if I do it. Mario Vivian Brindis. Alia Arseniega, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. I 
Isabella Dominica Martinez, Seal of Biliteracy. Maddie Davis, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Alex Fitzgerald, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Cesar Rios, Echeverria, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Josue Galaviz, Jr. Yeah. Julio Manteca, Sierra. Yeah. Jaddy Kistner. Richard Legar Laguerra, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior, gold diploma. Thank you. You're welcome. Izzy Curiel. Did I say that right? Curiel. Oh. Izzy Curiel. I told him to say it. All right. Jake Ochoa, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. I knew it was you when I turned around. <laughs> Elizabeth Troush, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Naveen Mallon, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Araceli Cardenas, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold, Gold Diploma. David Thompson. Joel Isaiah Herrera, Arizona Scholar. Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Joel Tafoya, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Narai Gonzalez, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Lionel Vera, Jr. Victoria Ramos. Hector Enriquez. Which one do I use? Oh, oh okay. Oh. David Alvarez. Luis Aguilar. Nathan Aldrich, Arizona Scholar, Nat okay. National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Alia Denise Ramos. Marla Valeria Castro Macias. Meliana Durazo, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Elijah Veramontes. Annalisa Le Leona Rosa Valenzuela.
Nathaniel Esquiline Walters, Arizona Scholar, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior, gold diploma. Brilin N. Moler Molera. Mia Osuna De La Rosa. Imena Olvera Perez, Perez, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Shane Torres, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Nicole Magallanes, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Mia Fontes Sarmiento, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy. Hello. Lizeth Garcia, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy, Distinguished Senior, Gold Diploma. Karina Liliana Diaz, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Distinguished Senior, Gold Diploma. Gael Oscar Flores, Gold Diploma. Okay, let me see how I can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Davi Marcial Martinez. Alan Anisieto, Anisieto. Ana Julie, excuse me, Ana Julia Velez Carvajal, Seal of Biliteracy. That's what the problem is. I'm wearing my sunglasses. Having a hard time seeing. I just realized I had my sunglasses on. There you go. Oh, this is so much better. Wow, I can see. Tiffany Pacheco. Yeah. Oh. Herman Ruiz. Shirlene Rios Arvallo, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society. Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Emily Porter Howe, Distinguished Senior, Gold Diploma. Anai Naranjo Palayo, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy. That was cool. Ruby Naranjo Palayo. Okay, that's in the running. Yuritsa Leoneth Velasquez, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Stephanie Wa Ooh. There you go. Stephanie Rarnez, Arizona Scholar. Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Yeah. Rosaline Perez Myron. Yeah. Eduardo Sedeno. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Carlos Cadillo, Seal of Biliteracy. Gold Diploma. Raul Reyes, Jr. <laughs> yeah. 
Anthony, Anthony Olivo. Is that it? Okay. Andrew Gastelum. Deanna, Deanna Palma Viegas. Jose Abraham Coronado Garcia. Carlos Felix Silva, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Luis Reyes Quintana. Marco Hurtado. Okay, I said this a thousand times today. Let's see. Skylin Squiles. Lizette Ramirez, Seal of Biliteracy. Anielia Ornelius. Rebecca Pido. Luis Angel Duarte. Brandon Torres. Eduardo Castellanos. Victor Bringas Castillo, Seal of Biliteracy, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Ruby Sunshine Ward. Ariana Mesa Soto. Andrea Marisol Cordova, Gold Diploma. Luca Robles, Gold Diploma. Isabella Faith Wilcox. Ayana Larey De Jesus. Aliana Erica Soto. Angel Imer Gutierrez Cerillo. Kylie Nicole Capello. Okay. Joseph. Trusty. Kenny C, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Okay. Mason Warake. Karime Figueroa. Azriel Nazea Anderson. Oh, Nasaya. Oh, let me start all over again. Azriel Nasaya Anderson, Arizona Scholar. Where are you going? My bad. Gold Diploma. Keith Torres. Nicole Camacho Ibarra. Mariana Patricia Yedra.
Victoria Jacqueline Martinez. There you go. Alexa Ramirez Carrasco, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society. Thank you. You're welcome. Isabella Zakia Salazar, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Angelina Amari Delk, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Kylie Luer, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Gold Diploma. Elizabeth Cordova. Jennifer Torres Lopez. Reina Eileen Nugent. Ashante, Ashanti Marie Lizaraga. Jaden Riley Consickler. Anissa Elena Diaz. Leah Barber. Woo! Leslie Mireth, Mir Mireth Ortiz Urea, Urea, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Valeria Toscano Passos, Arizona Scholar, National Honor Society, graduating with distinction, distinguished senior, seal of biliteracy, gold diploma. <laughs> Xavion Laswell. Thank you, Ms. Burkett. You're welcome. Gabriel J. Maskey. Gold Diploma. <laughs> Alyssa Lizette Mack, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Yes, Alyssa! Itzel Avendano. Abril Samayoa. Thank you. Nicole Benori. Emery Cardenas. Brianna Diane Diane Rosas. Magali Pelayo, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Sydney Flores Solano, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Jayla Johnson, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Jason Thompson. David Flores. Christian Lopez. Brandon De La Vega. Roberto Enrique Hernandez, the third. Gael Gothro. Alex Madrid.
parents can't see you back there. Jaslyn Desiree Holt, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Lex Alcantar, Distinguished Senior. Catherine Marie Evans, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Julie Nguyen, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Jesus Bustamante. Suhey Paniagua, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Huh? Okay, she's taking her video. Everybody pose. Real. Did you get it? Did you get me? Okay, good. That's all that matters. Dedrick Jasso. Cody Staley. Raymond Aragon. Alyssa Whitman. Elijah Nixon. Nevea Riss. Rafael Arroz Valenz Valenzuela. Thank you. I want to take a picture with you after this. Okay. Austin Benjamin Hutton, Arizona Scholar. Ooh, that was me. All right, wait, wait. One with the crowd. One with the crowd, mister. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Diego Hector Vasquez Vid Vid Vidriales. Sorry, dude. Michael Gil Mata, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. There you go. Diego Flores. Stephen Braden. Hazel Cooley, Gold Diploma. Eris Lambert, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Agni Horn, Arizona Scholar. Eden Lania Borst, Gold Diploma. Nui Tron, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Reese Helena Folks, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Tegan Polo, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Madison Maldonado, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. <laughs> Naima Reyes, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Adrian Para, Gold Diploma. Isaac Jade Riley. There you go. Jackson Waters. Gracia Galaviz, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, Gold Diploma. Oh 
my goodness. Okay. Luna? Luvia? Luvia? Mendivil. Luvia Mendivil. Anthony Aviles, Gold Diploma. Nicole Herrera, Arizona Scholar, Gold Diploma. Gerardo Guerrero. Bibian Canez, Seal of Biliteracy. Sky Mosley. Kaylee John. James Russell, J.R. Trejo. Adriana Rodriguez. Melanie Medina. Mar Your parents want to take a picture. Melanie Medina Martinez, gold diploma. Giolina Rodriguez, gold diploma. Celeste Angulo, gold diploma. <laughs> Jaime Fletes, Arizona Scholar, Seal of Biliteracy, gold diploma. Halia Cristolina Johnson, Arizona Scholar, gold diploma. Simara Martinez Rodriguez. Julius Yanez, gold diploma. No, I'm just saying, stand forward. Sitlali Lizette Salazar, Rom Romero Salazar. Oh no. Julian Parra. I forgot my slip. <laughs> Can you please? No, no, after you, after you. How you do? Yo, Lego Elias Donaldson, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Ma Madison Joe Avondet. And, and Ciara Dame. And I can still talk. Class of 2023, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, I hereby declare you graduates of Flowing Wells High School, offer you my sincere congratulations, and ask that you change your tassels from right to left. Hey, Cabs. Our spirit yells have been the best throughout the whole year. So before we leave, let's get out with one last spirit yell. In three, two, one.
a celebration to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We gon' celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Let's celebrate. 